Hey there, Hopage Gaming Zone. It's Rob from the Pick My Perk series, and today you're watching a little bit of gameplay on Domination uh, Black Ops. We're playing on the map Summit. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, that's right, we don't have any flags, and nor have we had a flag this entire game. We were doing what's called Domination Comebacks, where basically you let the other team have all the flags, and then you pick a certain point level and say, and once we get to a certain level, we're going to take back the flags. In this case, it was our uh, second game, I believe, and we let them go to 110. So we were down 0 to 110, and I cut out all the stuff before that, because basically it's just us running around killing everybody. And then uh, this is it's, this starts off where we decide we're going to take all the flags. And on this map, it's actually not too bad. You can actually take all three flags uh, and hold them if your team is somewhat competent and communicating, which we were. We were in a full party, so it makes a big difference when you guys can talk and, and actually coordinate your attack, so to speak, as well as your defense of the, the flags. So we got two flags down, we got to get that last one. And actually we struggle a bit here and there to get that last flag. But uh, we were just playing some uh, some Black Ops just to change things up a little bit. Um, reminded me of how much I actually enjoyed this game. Um, I put a lot of time into this. I did get tired of it just because I played it so much. But uh, yeah, there is so mu uh, such a thing as too much of a good thing. But uh, it was it was a good time. I remember this game having you know just having hours and hours of fun every night, uh, doing all kinds of silly things. Uh, like domination comebacks, for for example, and then finishing off the night with some wager matches just to relax. So, but uh, so anyways, uh, obviously with the Black Ops 2, uh, I, I wouldn't say right around the corner, but getting very very close. Uh, we're what six months out or so. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because there's been a lot of talk about what Treyarch is doing to uh, to further the series of Black Ops, but also. The franchise of Call of Duty and it looks like they're gonna make some changes uh, from the trailer it looks like it's set in the near future which means you've got you know future weapons which basically opens up a whole you know basically range of possibilities of guns and, and kill streaks and do you name it I mean they showed a lot of uh, robotic vehicles in the uh, single-player campaign teaser that they put out uh, obviously we don't know anything about the multiplayer just yet but We'll see how that goes when the time comes. Uh, zombies is going to factor in there pretty big. Uh, everybody really enjoys zombies, and I know I do too, even though I'm terrible at it. But it's, uh, it should be good times. I can't wait to see how they pull that all together. They are talking about kind of wrapping up the storyline with, uh, with the story, excuse me, with the zombie stories uh, in this episode, so to speak, of Call of Duty. So uh, I'll be interested to see how that goes. Uh, but, you know, obviously the multiplayer is the thing that we all play the most, uh, those of us that are Call of Duty fans. And I'm interested to see, like I said, how they do. They're, they're looking to innovate and really be the people that uh, take the series forward into the future. Uh, because Infinity Ward is really kind of a skeleton shell of its fr uh, former self. A lot of those people that were there, that had the talent and the passion, that created uh, Call of Duty, and more, more importantly, kind of rebooted the whole franchise with Modern Warfare... Uh, they've all moved on to greener pastures, so to speak. You know, most of them quit right as, uh, let's see, it was uh, Modern Warfare 2. Right as that was launching and uh, moved over to uh, Respawn Entertainment, uh, which is basically headed up by the same guys that headed up Infinity Ward, but uh, it's under the umbrella of EA, uh, which doesn't really make me too happy because EA's uh, <laughs> notorious for... Uh, for being difficult to work with uh, for the developers and same with the customers but uh, we'll, we'll see how they do um, it's gonna be exciting but in the meantime Treyarch is, is definitely busy at work trying to make Black Ops 2 the best game it can possibly be and uh, after Black Ops you know the, the one you're seeing here I've got a fair amount of faith in them because they did a lot of things right you know this game had a lot of a lot of support uh, Treyarch was really good about fixing things uh, things that you didn't even know existed, but they were on top of, and the DLC for it was was actually pretty good. I, you know, it was obviously the nickel and dime you to some degree, but uh, it hasn't been nearly as bad as the Call of Duty Elite Premium that we're going through right now. But I kind of think that's going to be the new new model going forward. So, uh, but one of the other things that I really enjoyed about about uh, Black Ops, and this is going to sound kind of silly, but the color and the textures and just the way the the levels are designed. Uh, was is way more appealing visually than uh, than what Infinity Ward has done, in at least in Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 2 is a little more colorful, but uh, this game, like you do, just a touch of color correction to it, and all of a sudden it's just beautiful. It just 
it renders out so pretty, <laughs> if I can use that word, um, I'm talking about a video game, especially one where you're supposed to kill everybody. But uh, it renders out really nice looking. Uh, it's real crisp, real, real good looking video. Um, you know, the HD PVR does a good job of picking it all up. Uh, I'm using the gaming edition, and uh, it does a good job of, uh, of capturing. And then with a few minor tweaks in my editing software, I can get the nice crisp uh, picture you're seeing here. And uh, I gotta, I gotta say, it's just I really enjoy it. So, so as much as that's a plug for the HD PVR, it's also it really bodes well for. Treyarch and what they've been able to do. Um, apparently they've been upgrading the engine that Call of Duty runs on, which is a really old engine. It's been rehashed several times, but no major improvements. It's, you know, slap a new coat of paint on it and call it good. But the new one supposedly has better lighting and shading, and it's going to make things look a lot nicer. And so I'm excited to see how that all pans out. Uh, obviously, multiplayer, we won't know anything more till oh my, I guess probably later in the summer would be my guess. But uh, obviously everybody's speculating over the little leak leaks quote-unquote that have been put out there so I don't know I, I've I've enjoyed it uh, the information that's been coming out uh, I don't know why but I'm more excited for this one than I am Modern Warfare 3 uh, just uh, just seems like there's more intrigue around the title and uh, so but back to the gameplay now you can see we've triple capped uh, we've been holding a fairly well there's a point where I actually you, I don't know if you can hear it in the background but uh, it was not quite spawn tra uh, spawn trapping, more like just really holding down the A flag by aiming down sight, looking out the door to their spawn, and uh, letting them have it when they came in the door. And I think I got like three or four guys that way, and I <laughs> commented, I said, I just feel so dirty, just feel so wrong to be doing this. But it's what we had to do to win. I mean, and right now, in, at this point in the game, now is when we flip and we actually start winning. Uh, so it's 182 to 178. Which means uh, they gained 60, 60 some odd points from the time that uh, we let them, uh, from from, well, from the time we stopped letting them win, to the time that we actually started taking control. But uh, it's just kind of a fun way to mix uh, mix up the game, uh, do little things like this, little challenges to push your team. Obviously, this is, isn't something you can do without a full team because you know the, a lot of the random players you play with, they're going to want to jump on flags, and uh, you got to be able to coordinate that. So. Obviously, that last guy just quit because he was full of rage because we beat them. So, But uh, anyways, guys, I will talk to you later. Uh, hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and uh, leave a like if, uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing. Talk to you later.